Hi, welcome back to Mama Sanity. Thank you again for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to try and make it um, short and simple because I know I tend to get long-winded, but I want to talk to you again about forgiveness. And I know you're probably thinking, oh my goodness, I've talked over and over and over about forgiveness, but I feel like it's it's weighing on my heart and I feel like it is a very, very, very important subject. And um, a lot of the, um, like Joyce and um, the other people that I've been watching, you know, they keep talking about, you know, you're waiting for your miracle, you're waiting for your miracle, or you're waiting for something, some answer to a prayer, and you're not getting it, and you feel like God's not there. God is always there, but they say, when you're not hearing an answer, you're not receiving your miracle, you really need to dig deep down and say, who am I mad at, and who have I not forgiven? And that is just like, whoa, that is so true. Like, who am I mad at? And anger leads leads you know to other things and that's not good and who who have I not truly truly forgiven and so that's why I wanted to go into the story into the scriptures so let's get started my daughter has not seen her biological dad since she was four she is now 11 when she was two he contacted me and asked if I would allow him to terminate his parental rights so he could stop paying child support so I agreed I wanted to spare her the heartache of a revolving door dad and the sacrifice of the financial support was well worth him never being able to disappoint her again. I never lied to her about where he went or who her dad was. I have always answered her questions in the most age appropriate way possible. When she was four, he contacted me and said that he had been diagnosed with cancer and would like to see her. He asked for two hours, but he only stayed for 20 minutes. We never heard from him again. Over the summer, this summer, we ran into someone who knew him and commented how my daughter looked so much like his other children. They elaborated that he, was, he had settled down and had a big family now. My stomach tied up in knots thinking of how hurtful that must make my daughter. I cut, cut the conversation short and we got in the car to leave. That's when I saw her smiling and she said, Mom, he figured it out. He figured out how to be a dad. That is such a nice thing. I'm happy for his kids. And that's the day an 11 year old taught me all I needed to know about forgiveness. I wanted to share that with y'all because it's true. Even the 11 year old knew that it wasn't her fault and he just wasn't ready to be a dad. I personally have gone through my biological father disowning me and saying cruel things and hurting me mentally and physically. And just, it's, it, it's a big mess. And I recently have forgiven him for all that and I'm a lot older and than this 11 year old and it took me a long time but you just come to the realization that it is what it is and there's nothing you can do about it and just let it go so I'm going to move into my other two someday we will forget the hurt the reason we cried and the one who brought us that pain we will finally realize that the secret of being free, it's not revenge, but letting things unfold in their own way and time. After all, what matters is not the first chapter of your life, but the last chapter of our lives, which shows how well we ran the race. So smile and laugh, forgive and believe, and love over and over again. Maturity is when somebody has hurt you so badly, and instead of stooping down to their level, you let the karma clean it up. I like that because they are. They're going to have to answer one day for what they did to you. And just let, let God deal with it. There's nothing you can do about it. And the last thing is we are often let down most by, we are often let down by most by the trusted people and love most by unexpected ones. Some make us cry for things we haven't done while others ignore our faults and just see our smile. Some leave us when we need them the most, while some stay with us even when we ask them to leave. The world is a mixture of people. We just need to know which hand to shake and which hand to hold. After all, that's life learning to hold on to and life learning to let go. I wanted to share these stories with you today because it all ties into forgiveness. And like I said before, you know, I've been sexually abused by many. I've been physically and emotionally abused by many. I've been verbally 
abused so many times I can't even count. I've been cheated on. I've been lied to. I've been used by several people. And it is what it is. And for so long, I held that anger in and that resentment. And for so long, I thought, you know, it was my fault. Something's wrong with me. Why is this happening to me over and over again? Why are people using me? Why are people touching me? Why are people doing this? And it took a lot of years and a lot of prayer to God to realize that it wasn't me that there was something wrong with. And I was angry and resentful and depressed and just, oh, for so long. And I did, a, like I said, it's not going to happen overnight. It took me years of prayer and prayer and prayer and working through it. And I even went to counseling and just, you know, really got into my Bible and realized that there's nothing I can do. I can't go back and I can't change the past. So why give these, all these people that hurt me, why give them the power? Because that's what you're doing. When you hold on to this anger and you just, this hatred and this resentment and just like why, you're giving them power and it's like they still have a little bit of hold on you and they're still hurting you. Even if they're not around you, they're still hurting you each day that you don't forgive them. And so I'm sharing all this with you today because I feel like it's so important for you to understand that I know, I know what it's like to go through some really hurtful, bad stuff. And I I'm, haven't heard as, as many of y'all out there probably hurt a heck of a lot more than me. And you're probably saying, you just don't understand. I, this was done to me and this was done to me and I just can't. When your time is ready, you will know. Okay, like I said, it took me years, but when I, I felt that tug in my heart, like, and it wasn't all at once, it was, it was person by person, and it was just, you know, God speaking to my heart saying, it's time to let, let it go. Just forgive them, truly, truly forgive them and let it go. And let me tell you what I did, oh my gosh, it was like freeing, it was like all that anger and that hatred and that resentment and that just questions of why it was like it all flew out of me and it was just like <sighs> and I knew that they're gonna have to answer for what they did and there's nothing I can do about it so live my life and enjoy my life now and be happy in my life and they'll they'll answer for what they did and that's all that I can do so that's all I have for you today. I hope that wasn't too um, heavy on the heart, but it's just something that I feel that is really, really important. Um, forgiveness is one of the big keys to happiness. So until next time, I'll leave you, and I hope you stay safe.